Network virtualization is a key concept to partition and to aggregate resources and to make them available to users in an abstracted fashion. Um, users in this case are a very general term. Users can be virtual machines um, in a data center environment. They can be clients of a telecommunication network operator or users in this case could also be um, client layer um, technologies, for instance IP routers, making use of an optical layer a technology which is represented to them as a virtual topology. Um, virtualization in itself is not really a new concept. Um, it's used, for instance, for virtual LANs, VLANs, quite commonly as um, static provisioned um, technology. What is really new and where innovation is required to make virtualization available through programmatic means and in an elastic fashion so that people can use virtualized networks as part of an overall elastic um, IT infrastructure. Um, some of the examples of this, for instance, are um, cloud bursting. Cloud bursting is a technology where you can use your data center resources. And if you need more external resources, you could, for instance, go to a um, public um, cloud data center, for instance, Amazon, require additional resources. and. What really is missing is the kind of link between your internal data center and the external data center in order to get your data over there and in order to set this up in a quick and elastic fashion. If you think about big databases, for instance, a terabyte of data which you need to transmit over a link, you really need to have the capability to configure your network in an elastic fashion in order to get the data over there um, in a quick time. So if you think about a terabit, if you just think about 100 megabit connection, this can take more than a day. If you have the capability to use a virtualized network resource bandwidth on demand there um, of 10 gigabit, for instance, say, then you can do this within minutes and can really use this to address peak loads on your application side. Collaborative research in the overall framework here um, is important because it helps to really discuss architectures and, and use cases. It helps to build prototypes and to demonstrate these kind of features and analyze them in experimental facilities. And that's really key in all stages in order to identify the most valuable cases and prepare product development for uh, new services and for new features to come.